Hi everyone, thanks for joining me again today. Today we are going to talk about how to bless water and food. As usual, I invite you to uh, say hello, um, write any comments or any questions in the box below. Uh, and I have my helper here today who will read uh, any questions you might have on my behalf. So for today's um, session, <laughs> you will need two cups of water. So I'll give you a few uh, seconds, a few minutes to go in and get that while um, in the meantime, I will talk <laughs> about why we need this water. So one of the cups of water is gonna be uh, tap water or bottled water, whatever it is that you drink uh, in your area. And the other one is going to be also whatever it is that you drink in, in your area, but that's the water that we are going to, <laughs> to actually bless. Um, the reason why I wanted to do uh, this little tutorial is because there's this belief in our societies, well, at least where I live, that only a certain people uh, can bless things, uh, which is absolutely not true. We can all bless things um, because we all have the ability to do so. So by learning how to do things like that, we can empower ourselves um, and also begin to understand how our world really works. So blessing water, um, it's um, good to do, let's say when you're waking up in the morning and you just wanna recharge your body. Uh, but also if you are feeling sick or if you know somebody who's not doing so well uh, with their health, you might want to bless their water before they drink it and that would actually accelerate the healing process. It will help their, sustain their body, give them enough energy to help them heal in whatever way their body needs to heal. So um, hopefully you all have your water. <laughs> um, so we're going to begin once again, uh, when we do any kind of energy work, we always want to be properly grounded uh, in our bodies and for that, you have to have the, um, really the intent to fully be in your body and to use gravity and your breath to pull yourself in the body and to sense the body properly. And um, the reason why we always want to be grounded when we do energy work is so that we're always very present and we understand what we're doing. Also because we're shifting energy within our bodies, we wanna make sure that we're well balanced as we do that and also afterwards that we're not feeling like we're floating. <laughs> okay, so um, so if you have your glass of water, I'm gonna ask you to actually place it in uh, your palm, okay? And always working through your spiritual heart as we are doing energy work and any energy work that we do, we want to always make sure that it runs through our spiritual heart so that the spiritual heart with its wisdom, it, um, filters whatever energy and it balances the frequency on your behalf. So you don't even have to think about that. The wisdom of the heart will do that for you. So as you place the water uh, on your, the cup of water on your palm, make sure that you bring that close to your spiritual heart. And what you wanna do is you want to breathe into your spiritual heart. So just to ask it to begin to open up for you, so to activate it in a way that it's going to begin to work for you. So you can close your eyes, so that's actually what I recommend to do, so that you can actually e either visualize or imagine or just have the intent as you close your eyes for this to begin to happen. So I'm gonna invite you to close your eyes, and I will do so as well. And you'll notice that I'm breathing into my heart and I'm gonna do that a couple of times. And each time I breathe into my spiritual heart, it actually begins to open up. And with that, I begin to ask the energy of my heart to run from my spiritual heart out into my arm and into my hand. Um, my arm and my hands are gonna be the extension of my spiritual heart. Um, and so as I run this energy through, uh, I'm going to make sure, hold on one second. This little puppy is doing something not very safe. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay, all right. 
right, sorry about that. <laughs> she was climbing on the side table there. All right, so uh, back to the water. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, back to the water. Uh, okay, so running the energy from the spiritual heart out through the arms and hands because those are the, the are extensions of the spiritual of the spiritual heart, right? So we want to make sure that we see the light, so light coming through this part of our bodies and into the fingers and out the fingers, okay? It's almost like we are extending our fingers through light. So you're going to once again have the intent, the faith or the belief that this is happening, visualization or your imagination if you can visualize. So if you can't even imagine, just some of you might be more kinesthetic, so you might be able just to sense that, to so have the intent to sense it. So you're going to use that ex those extended fingers that are made of light. Um, you're gonna ask the water to begin to open up to its um, quantum light, okay? So as you use your hand, the motion in your hand to open it up, and so I'm gonna do this, but you could do this, right? Whatever, um, whatever feels right for you to open it up. So what you're doing is opening it up so that we can begin to use the light within the water and the light within your hand to begin to charge it. So I'm gonna do that for a few seconds to whatever feels right for me. I'm still using my breath so that I run the energy well, okay? And now I'm going to go bring my attention back to my spiritual heart. And this time what I'm gonna do is I'm going to ask my heart to, um, to begin charging the water. So I'm going to use the chakra in the palm of my hand and I'm going to charge it with white light. So the most, uh, I would say, um, I'm gonna use the word heavenly white light that I can think of, okay? so. With that, I'm going to run that light once again through my arm and uh, to my hand and begin to charge it. And what I'm doing is I am seeing the light coming into the water and spreading all through the water. And I'm going to do this for a few more seconds. And once I feel that it's charged enough, I'm going to now seal whatever frequency I've placed in the water. So for that, I'm going to use gold. So last week, uh, we talked about color and frequency. So gold is a a pretty high frequency that you could use for sealing things. So I'm going to just envision the gold coming in once again through my heart, arm, and hand. And this time I'm going to seal the water. And the reason why I need to seal the water is because water is always listening. So uh, it changes its uh, frequency quite quickly, quite easily as well. So as we seal the, this cup of water, what happens is that I can place this glass of water in a room where somebody might be very angry and the water will, make, will keep its frequency, whatever I did with it. Uh, so we wanna make sure that it stays like that so that I can have my water for the day, let's say. So in the way that I would seal it once again, it's just by going back to my heart, running the gold energy through my arm and hand, and then beginning to seal it like that. Some of you might want to seal it with your fingers. So just go with the flow, what feels right for you. For me, it's my palm. So I'm going to seal it like that. And I'm just envisioning that gold just sitting on top of the water as it seals it, okay? So if I'm to drink this water now, it's going to taste different than the water I didn't do anything to. You'll notice that if you actually take your time to do this, 
sometimes the water will taste like metal and sometimes it will taste sweeter. It just depends on what you're charging it with. Um, last time we talked, like I said, we talked about color and sound. So you could use different colors or different sounds or a combination of colors and sounds to change the molecules of the water. If you wanted, let's say, to create more balance in your body, you would use aqua and you would bring in the aqua instead of the heavenly white that I talked about earlier. And then you would seal it with the gold. But you could also, at the same time, be charging it with sound. Now, what sound do you use for that? Once again, you can't really put energy in a box. You have to really trust the wisdom of your divine heart. And whatever sound is born from that with the intent that you have to charge the water is that with, then that would be the right sound. Sound could be a song if that's what means something to you, or it could just be literally sound <laughs> that comes out of you. Uh, from your uh, voice that is obviously uh, the base is the heart so it comes from the heart out through your voice and through your hand and into the water okay um, so now um, how do we uh, bless food now food also has water in it but it's a little bit more dense obviously <laughs> So we want to use a slightly different kind of uh, way of blessing it. I don't always bless my food, although I should, but it's just because sometimes I don't have enough time to do it. Uh, but I like to uh, particularly bless it when I go out to a restaurant, mostly because I don't know how many people have, uh, you know, touched it or, um, you know, so that it can be whatever it is that I get at the table. So through the process of that, whoever is touching my food, the food that I'm going to eat, if they have a certain emotion, if they're upset that day or so on, then that energy is being placed into the food. So, but there's also, there are also many ideas that are uh, and beliefs uh, that are based uh, in our society about that food is bad, that food is good, and so on. And sometimes I find that there is not enough organic food uh, in certain places, uh, so, and not everybody can afford organic food. So the idea that you can only eat organic food can actually be harmful for people who don't have the organic food or cannot afford the organic food. So I like to teach people that they have the power to change whatever ideas or beliefs that people have and the collective has put into whatever food so that they can feel comfortable eating whatever it is that they can eat that they need that they have to eat so i have an apple here and the way that i would once again <laughs> bless it is by grounding myself bringing my attention into my spiritual heart and placing my plate, right, my plate of food, well, this is an apple, but I would place it close to my heart again. Um, and because I begin to charge it already as it is, right? Because we're always radiating that energy outwards. So I begin to charge it like that. And then once again, run the energy through my arms and hands. And this time I'm only gonna use the chakra in the palm of my hand. For food, I usually use divine love, which is uh, any kind of, uh, pink color that you want to use at that moment. I like the bubblegum pink, but you could use whatever you like best. Uh, and I will run Divine Love because the, what, what Divine Love does, it transmutes things into anything that you need. So because love is in everything, it is what will transmute the best, okay? Without any, without you having to put any thought into it, okay? So it will just do what it needs to do for you. So with that, once again, I will close my eyes, run the pink energy to my arm and hand, and then use my breath and begin just to charge the, my plate of food or my apple.
and I will do that until I feel is charged enough, okay? And so, like that, I can eat McDonald's once in a while. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so, um, okay, so, uh, if any of you have any questions, just please type them below. If not, I'm going to begin to uh, bring in the Ascended Masters and see if they have anything to say uh, or to add to, to whatever I talked about today. Okay? Is there any questions, Bent? Not yet, okay. but it takes a while for them to hear your words, so... Okay. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to begin bringing in the Ascended Masters, and my helper here will let me know if there are any questions, okay? So as usual, I'm going to ask you to just to ground yourselves and to bring your attention to your spiritual heart and breathe into your spiritual heart I am the Archangel Raphael as I have been asked by the Ascended Masters to begin speaking on this matter, I ask you to open your hearts by visualizing the dual green color in your mind's eye and to surround yourselves with this jewel green color and to breathe in this jewel green color as you welcome the healing frequencies that I bring forth into this realm of the human conscious living being When you open up to that divinity that exists within you, then you allow for divinity to also open itself up to you in all of that that exists in your world. For as you recognize divinity in you, divinity within all that exists recognizes your divinity as well. And so it begins to open itself up so that you may begin to associate or work with it in a way that is transforming for your physical well-being. Today, you were listening and speaking about how to bless water and food because this is seen as something that you consume so that your body may be healthy and strong and vibrant. And this is a good place to start. For a healthy body, a healthy body can assist you in aligning yourselves in a better, more easy way to the higher aspects of your existence. So, as you bless the water to have the energy that you need in order to reach higher consciousness of your own self, you begin 
to open up in different ways in the physical world. And you can begin to empower your own life and creations in the sense that you begin to understand everything as energy and you begin to use this knowledge and understanding in a way that can facilitate in your life many different things such as a happier, healthier body, a chemical composition in your body that is more balanced that can help you in how you engage in the world for yourself and with others as well as in situations. Your state of mind depends on these chemicals. So it is good to engage in this practice of blessing your water to amplify your awareness of self but also to raise your frequency and to maintain a level of energy that is important for your body to maintain. I could say that it's the same for food, although food I will have to speak of in a different way. Food is like a fuel that you take into your physical body in order to sustain it and its energies and its functions. So it is important that you see food, no matter where it comes from, as something that is already blessed by the Mother Earth and by that that is called the Creator, for it is already blessed. And as you engage in the blessings for this food that you consume to properly support your physical body and your mind as well, you then begin to amplify its blessings through your own divine heart so that it, its potential can be greater than the potential that it already has. So it is important that you engage in gratitude and in blessings for you begin to also understand that power that you hold within your own hands through the access of your divine heart and through the understanding that you have the right and the possibilities and the ability to bless things. Thank you. Thank you, Archangel Raphael. Okay, so we, are there any questions? We have uh, two questions. Mm -hmm. I believe uh, one I mean, it, it will be up to, but I believe one might be answered more uh, by you, and then mm -hmm. the other one sounds like something for the Ascended Masters. Can you speak louder, please? Uh, yes, sorry. Uh, okay, so we have uh, two questions. The first one is from Anne. Uh, she wants to know if different color uh, make the water taste differently. Yes, it would, because different colors have different frequencies. So, like I said before, you might charge it in a way um, so sometimes when I charge it with pink, believe it or not, it doesn't taste sweet, <laughs> it tastes uh, like metal. Uh, but if I was to charge it with white, it might taste a little bit different. Not, it might not have that metal taste, but it might be a little bit more sweet. So frequency will change the taste in it. And sometimes it'll be stronger, sometimes it'll be a, like a more mild type of taste. Uh, that you, can, you, can, you can definitely taste it. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, uh, second question is a slightly bigger one. Um, can you bless meat to release the negative energy associated with how it got to your table? Like example, uh, the life it had in the farms uh, mm -hmm. and also the, the death. Yeah, yes you can. You can bless anything, you can bless french fries even. Um, and that's why I made the joke about eating McDonald's once in a while. <laughs> I was really joking about that. But um, you can definitely bless anything. And you, what you're doing is you're transmuting um, the, the energy that it has through whatever processes it has, gone, it has gone through 
or whatever beliefs society has, um, through those beliefs, the energy that it has uh, been charged with, you can transmute it. I'm not saying that, let's say I go and bless um, uh, a burger from McDonald's that is going to all of a sudden be like super nutritious, uh, because it probably won't be, uh, but what I'm doing is I'm um, transmuting its energy so that when I eat it, it's not gonna be harmful for me. It's just gonna be charged, it's gonna be just energy, but it's not necessarily gonna have, I'm not adding vitamin D and vitamin C or whatever it is that you would have in that if it was a more natural type of burger. Um, yeah, so. Okay. We had a few comments about the taste of water. So some of the wa people watching have tried blessing their water before and got different results. Okay. Uh, and found that hers tasted like metal and yeah. she actually didn't like it as much as regular water. Yeah, but that's actually really good that it tastes like metal. That means you did a good job. <laughs> and uh, Pamela found that her blessed water tasted warmer and, and uh, felt thicker. Oh, okay. uh, she used white light. Oh, good. Yeah, really yeah. good. Mm -hmm. But, um, I mean, would it be uh, good for people to just try a different uh, color until they find a taste they like and then that's going to be the water that's good for them? Or You could try different colors, but I wouldn't really go for the taste. I mostly think about what you're using that blessed water for more than what it tastes like. Uh, because the taste is just, I don't know, it's how our, our senses perceive it, I guess. But really, really what you want to think about, focus on, is like, what are you charging it for? So, for example, if it's to have vitality, then if it tastes like metal, then it tastes like metal, right? <laughs> and if it's, uh, if it's thicker, then that's good. It's just whatever, I, I would say go with what the intent, not necessarily with what the taste is. Yeah, that's what I would recommend. Okay, well, we have three minutes left. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so unless anybody has any other questions, uh, we can wrap it up. Anybody has any questions either for Archangel or Raphael who came or the Ascended Masters right before we go? Somebody typing? Uh, well, they might have just... They haven't heard yet. Okay. I'll let you know when your question actually goes out. Oh, okay. There, that was being asked. All right, <laughs> so I want to thank you everyone for uh, joining me today. I will do uh, a session, a two hour live session on December 6th with uh, Karen Woodley. Uh, and we're going to be talking about healing and um, energy blocks, karma, uh, ancestral memory and more. Um, so I invite you to join us for that. You will have to visit my website at monicadumont.com for more information. But um, I know last time I said that this would be the last uh, uh, Facebook Live event for the year, but actually kind of changed my mind. I am going to do uh, something on the solar, um, sorry, in the um, winter solstice, so that's December 21st. And for that event, I hope that you'll be able to join me. We will need uh, fire. So if you have a fireplace at home, I invite you to, to uh, join me by your fireplace, or if you have a bowl, uh, where you can um, you, uh, burn paper, that would be great. And um, this is because we're going to be dealing with karma and um, taking advantage of the uh, energy that is going to be coming in uh, on that day. And I think there's can a question. Can we use a candle for the fire? Yeah, you could use a candle as well. Um, yeah. As long as it's safe, right? Yeah, is there uh, yeah there's a, a... Somebody wanted to know if they could bless the... The water in a bottle? Yes. I guess bottled water? Yeah, you can definitely, you can bless anything. Um, 
the other thing that you can do with water is like you can do um you can put it by a window where you get sun and if you even have like let's say if you don't have time to do everything that i was talking about today you might just want to buy a glass or a bottle um, that has color uh, let's say green okay for healing just because the archangel of veil is the one that came to speak about this and so you would put the water in your green bottle and then sit it by the sun uh, in the window that where the sun comes in and that will automatically begin to charge your water in the way that you want it right so remember that color does mean something right the frequency and, and your intent now um it is just as easy as that but the moment that you have faith and believe in your ability to do this the amount of energy that you can run through you is amazing okay so i really recommend that if you have any doubts about it just to work through that okay because it's really 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 helpful when um when you combine uh knowledge and um heart <laughs> and uh, the trust in yourself. I want to thank you everyone, and I hope that you can join me on December 6th and also on December 20, 21st, right? 21st. <laughs> Have a good night, everyone. Bye.